have sunk an enemy destroyer. Hey team, it's Ripper. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. We got another video, part three, with the Delarna Tier 11 Super Ship Analysis of the Best AA Destroyer. But before we begin, if you see value and you like what we're doing here, like, subscribe, bell button below, leave a comment. What can we do to get better? Always looking for constructive criticism, and as always, build a better community. So let's get to it. You can see at Mod 6 there, we're building um, the Auxiliary Armaments Modification 2, which gives you two extra flak bursts if you use the Defensive Fire AA ability of... You know, ships like Delarno or Holland, they're the only couple that I know that have it on the European line. And we're, a f we're building in a fearless brawler because it gets you the extra flak salvo. And the other ones, if you want to build AFT and long range, really just give you more percentage-based numbers. So, and, and more, more likely, you're probably going to build a, a ship around these kind of parameters, uh, especially European lines focused on uh, torpedoes. So we kind of just try that out. I know it's not the maximum, full maximum build, but I think it actually does fairly decent for what we're trying to do here so this is the uh, test room again uh right here in the delarna i love this uh i keep the volume up because i just love the sound of the AA guns just firing and, and blowing and stuff up uh i may may over. tone it down for the uh the music but there it is look at this first dfa active right now trying to go nose in for a slim profile shooting as many planes as we can we take a hit major hit right there not after eliminating about you know, 16, 18 planes. Again, disclaimer, we're going to keep the AA on right off the bat. I know the tactic for most DD players is leave the AA off. But by doing so, most airplanes would just fly right by you and you would never engage. So we're just doing this to test out the AA. Again, defensive fire is still active right here, shooting at mid uh, the Nakamal planes, that is. And we're getting 29 uh, kills right there. Again, also, these are bots. And um, I'm throwing on the screen right there, the reason why we're picking Delarna is this number two on the list. And we're going to see if it does six plus three flak bursts right there. You can see very, very powerful AA strength. It only goes out to six, though. Ragnar goes out to 6.9. But again, this is more focused on the six kilometers activating the flak bursts. And of course, it has the long range and medium range. I don't believe Delarna has the close range abilities as good as well as the Holland does. But uh, we'll see uh, how the just flak burst long range do. Ooh, and we're limiting a lot of Nakamal planes right there. And you can see right there, as the start, the longer they drive in the flak range, you're getting those major hits right there, 4,000 hits. Those are the kind of flak bursts that we actually want to see. Uh, I'm really curious how this would actually work in a real game uh, for Delarna because it's just throwing out 6 plus 3. It's just throwing out a lot, a lot of firepower all at once. You're getting those 5,000 hits right there, and boom, look at that, 1,700. I mean, it is just melting aircraft. And you can see, I wonder if they can even get through this look at that just melting planes away and it's just something satisfying just seeing something like that i don't know what it is something about blowing stuff up seeing a number a tick marker happen kind of like in call of duty and so forth just seeing those uh, tick markers going up eliminating uh, aircraft it's something really really soothing maybe i should do a screensaver about this just seeing flak burst burst uh, and, and taking out airplanes is something gratifying i don't know anyways just waiting to see a couple more uh, hits on the Delarna. Now, the cool thing about the Delarna, if you don't know, it's tier. It's the super ship style um, kind of lines that are, they've been trying to release, tier 11, basically. But it costs so much to run and build and use. It's not even worth it, honestly, unless you have these super credit flags. We're actually making more money than it is. But it costs, right off the bat, just using this ship, the service alone is like 395,000 credits. I mean, it's ridiculous, okay? So you're not definitely making money in using these super ships, but it, it's just purely paying for enjoyment i wish they would just eliminate that and just make it dude just play tier 11 and make it a tier 11 and if you guys are trying to expand the ship lines and just make it tier 11 make it normal credits and i got a video about how the credit system scamming us but that's another topic again let's look at these flak bursts it's just it's amazing that it can take on three kind of waves all at once and you're kind of seeing a wow i mean there's only so many flak bursts but are they actually doing like six plus three on each set of aircraft that wouldn't be realistic because there's only this fixed amount of guns on the Delarna, assuming we have 100% of them and they're not destroyed. But right now, it seems like they're doing fairly well. We're at 187,000 damage to aircraft, 117, 18 right there after four and a half minutes, just nonstop shooting of aircraft. Boom, I love those right there. When are they, the, as soon as the planes arrive, boom, nothing gratifying. You're just seeing all the planes just melt and not giving the CV player any chance of shooting at you. And like I said, I hate CVs right now with a passion. Um, I used to play them just to try them out for fun, but this is a surface warfare game, not air to surface game or under surface game like submarines. I mean, that's again, more topic. Those are different topics, but I'll probably do a video of making fun of that because I think that Wargaming actually advertises this thing as to be a surface warfare style shooting game. 
and not supposed to be a air to ground and submarine to surface kind of shooting game if that I mean you have silent hunter you have war thunder you have all these other games that are focused on aircraft and submarines this is literally just naval battles like what if we just had ships and tugboats just on the surface shooting at each other that was the whole point of the game I mean, it would be like you introducing an A-10 tank buster into War of Tanks. I mean, it doesn't make sense. Like, why are you doing that? I mean, then then call the game uh, A-10 tank buster. Then people will buy it for that game, which actually was back in the day. I used to play A-10 Cuba. That was a fun game, good simulation game. Um, and it was si simply this. You were just flying around shooting tanks with A-10s. Cool. That's not this game. The game is literally supposed to be surface warfare. Like, literally just destroyers cruisers, battleships, uh, frigates, whatever you want to call it. I mean, it's just things on the surface shooting at each other. If that was at the time technology, we were frozen in time. That was all the technology that was available. Not airplanes, not submarines. Uh, it literally is just, hey, surface work. This is a sandbox just for shooting. Look at this. Look at all those planes melting, falling out of the sky. Um, yeah, if you want to let the airplanes fall out of the sky like that, by all means, let it do it because I'm not focused on airplane gameplay. I, 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 I played this game and purchased ships and everything to play the ship, not to play airplanes, not to play submarines. That uh, I like the way this uh, this actual testing right here is going because I'm melting all the planes, not giving them even one ounce of chance of getting near me. And just look at that, we're getting thousand hits, 750 tick markers like there, boom, 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 and look at that, just melting planes. I wish the game would be like this in reality if I was going to play up against uh, play up against CV players because man, it's just enjoyable to watch all these planes fall out of the sky especially from one destroyer yeah i think we're gonna wrap it up here in a minute here i think we've done enough kind of an analysis i mean the six kilometer ring as soon as they enter boom by the time the flak bursts get them they're at the aircraft are 5.5 i'm noticing a lot more flak bursts six plus three and get a lot more damage right there you're seeing like the 2700 4000 kind of range uh the delarna is just literally a wall of flak i mean you can't get through it i mean uh, maybe if you guys play the if you play a CV and just, wow, look at that, 3,400 damage. If you play a CV player and just see the wall of flak, it's almost you can't even see the aiming of when you go up against a Dalarna or, or a heavy uh, AA platform like this. And it's just so many flak bursts all around you. It's kind of even hard to aim, and everything's shaking and moving. Uh, I can understand why the Dalarna is so powerful, especially when you're getting that. So if you're getting 6 plus 3 base, and I'm activating the DFA with the um, this mod 6 that we talked about earlier, you're getting plus 2. So you're literally getting 6 plus 3 plus 2. So you're getting about 11. That's ridiculous. 11 flat clouds all around you all at once, just happening every few seconds. I mean, very, very powerful. There are the torpedoes right there. Yeah, just standard kind of uh, Holland-style torpedo. So we'll just end the game right there to show you we survived, actually. So very, very interesting of uh, how we actually played this off. So let's see what kind of damage we have. You can kind of do the math. Again, this uh, disclaimer, we had three uh, bot player CVs that had no upgrades. So we'll see how they did. So we did 300,000 damage in about seven minutes. Do the math. I just divide, you know, seven into three. So probably you're getting about, what, four and a half, six-ish per minute, a thousand, 40,000-ish per minute. There's something around that kind of area. So that's expected. So if we played one CV in a game, you should see about 40,000 to 80,000 damage roughly around that kind of mark if you're playing a single carrier game. And we're going to take a look at that right now with the Malta. And this is kind of the first game we're going to analyze right here and see how it goes. All right, here we go. So let's take a look at the Malta just right off the bat. And we're in the center here. I've got a Holland approaching. All right, here we go. Malta torpedo planes. Let's see. They're one of the most powerful in the game. Malta, very powerful armor. I mean, they just drop all the, the ordnance all at once. So let's see if we can activate the DFA right off the bat. Enters in. We start getting damage around the 5.4-ish range. So half a click, he's already in. And I'm sorry, we were shooting at the Holland. It was too juicy to opportunity. Okay, look at that. We got one. Ooh, we didn't really do much damage right there. We're going to have to take a hard right and avoid those torpedoes. And we only got about three planes. We did about 19,000 damage. And getting four planes there. 21,000, 21,700 damage on the planes. That's a lot. That mean, that is like a destroyer's worth of planes for one salvo run for a carrier. That's ridiculous. You're launching literally destroyers at me every single time. I mean, that's just so unbalanced right there. Um, but you see how much damage we did. I mean, the amount of damage that the um, we could do for that one Malta run, uh, pretty incredible. I didn't continue that match. I think we died because there was just too much radar and just kind of got obliterated. So AA not so well against the Malta. Let's try the midway here. 
And let's see here. Going right off the bat, just go right down the middle. We'll see the midway planes. Yep, we got the fighter planes. He did his early drop to get rid of it. So he's only got half the planes here. So let's see what half the planes does against this squadron. Okay, he's already scared running away. So he sees a Delarna. He probably knows the game. So he knows, hey, that's a Delarna. I'm not going to mess with him. Yeah, I don't think he comes. Does he come back? Oh, yeah, he's coming. Oh, just barely. So we're, we were trying to chase guys down. So anyways, throughout the match, we just skipped through it. He didn't really chase us. And here's where the midway is actually more effective here, where he's actually scoping the middle. And we're kind of go around and flank and find that carry in the south. Okay, here he is, bombers. He's got pretty much a full set of bombers there. DFA is active. He's within four and a half, four. And boom, melted immediately. That's exactly what I want to see more often in the game. So... Um, we skipped through the game. We pretty much lost the game, so I just kind of went after the CV just to test out the, um, the A ability. So let's see if we can put a, a, a no-fly zone right above the carrier. I, I love doing this, where you're actually in range of a carrier, and everything he launches, it just immediately gets shredded by the, the AA flak. So let's see what happens here. He's got fighter planes returning. Well, let's not let them return. They're coming in for a landing. Let's blow them out of the sky right when we got five kills right there. We're up to 36,000 damage on planes. We're shooting down his patrol planes. That's great, too. More planes to be shredded right there. And let's see if we can get... Did he launch any more planes? Come on, launch some more planes. Launch some more planes. Come on. There you go. Torpedo planes right up the bat. Can we get some kills? Yep, here we go. There's torpedo planes coming in. We got DFA active. Yep, getting some nice hits. Okay, outside of the range of the six kilometers. So he's kind of running away and we lose. Okay, so um, fairly decent, uh, I would say. I'm not against uh, the, the, as much results on the midway. We shoot down 20 planes. Uh, we're number one on the team. We did this. Oh, my gosh. We shot the most planes down. We were killing the people. And... 43,000 damage in 15 minutes. So not the greatest. I mean, that was a lot of driving, but about expected, right? 40,000-ish damage, which is what I've seen with one carrier. Um, then the math makes sense for uh, even uh, what we did in the training room. So we just divided and to see probably that's the average of about 40 to 80,000 range if we can get more. All right, let's try this one. FDR, yes, finally. My dreaded FDR everybody hates to see if we can melt some planes. 20, look, we 2,700 damage on the guy. We didn't kill any planes. That's, that's incredible. It's like flying tanks. Finally, we were able to knock out one plane, and let's see, does he come back for more? No, unfortunately, he doesn't. Yep, he's not coming back. Ooh, next, knock some planes, four planes right there. It's not bad, but these are mostly just the spotter planes, so nothing really to gawk at right there. All right, we're taking on the Daring, and I think we do uh, do recall we did have another couple planes coming in right here. Yeah, here, what is it? No, yep, here come the bomber planes. They're coming right at us. We're trying to get as much chip shots as we can on the Daring. Ooh, almost has some nice torpedo hits. Bad aiming on my part. He slowed down and popped smoke. Very smart on him. That's good. Uh, good DD tactic right there, ladies and gentlemen. Just keep watching what he's doing. Oh, unfortunately, he gets caught by a radar cruiser, I believe, out there. So not... Not very good. Does he get slapped? Boom. Yeah. Ooh, he missed right there. Oh, so we missed. All right, here come the bomber planes. Let me take my focus off this. I was trying to kill him. Oh, oh cheap shot. There it is, and he gets killed. All right, here we go. Des Moines gets him. All right, here come the bomber planes, and we only get one, two planes, and not very good, but oosh. He takes a... Oh, actually, wow, they didn't do as much damage as I thought. Okay. We did something on the planes. Maybe distract them a little bit. All right, now watch this. Della, the hybrid battleships. Their planes are really armored. Even though they only have about four or five of them, still very powerful. I mean, we're, this is just the base A over here shooting at the Delaware. So we're only doing about a 140. He gets inside the four kilometer range. Flat clouds right there are starting to go off. We get one plane, but he makes it all the way through all that flak, and he gets about, what, two planes in? So he gets two planes in. Unfortunately, half his aircraft are dead, and that's all he can do. So... It did its job in the sense of it reduced the damage coming from them, but we, were, we weren't able to kill the entire fleet there, but, well, we'll see. Uh, game goes through. The team's pretty much losing, so I'm just going to go here and just see how many planes I can get. Okay, now, Gutenlau bombers, no way we can shoot these things down. There's, like, literally, like, about 20 or 30 of these things in each strike, so... I mean, we're going to shoot planes down, but it's nothing to the effect of that it's going to stop them and their computer um, operated anyways, so it's not like they're dodging flat clouds or whatever. I'm surprised that I'm not able to shoot more down. Um, I think there's just some kind of armor buff that they get. 
just so that Golden Lou players aren't pissed off that they can't use their airstrikes because that's their bread and butter, right? So let's see if we can take out the Golden Lou just with sheer guns and all while being sh bombed at and see if our AA defensive A is active the whole time. We're only getting about an average of three planes shot down for an airstrike, so he's got about 20 or 30 planes and uh, shooting down three ain't going to do much, so... That's that. Here come the uh, carrier planes now, finally. So we're getting, not only are we getting bombed by a cruiser, we're also getting bombed by the carrier. And one destroyer can do this as much damage. So Delarna, very, very powerful. They can stand up alone. I can't imagine what a Shimakaze or something with crap A would do against this. Look, I'm getting 3,000 damage right there on the FDR planes. Yeah, we're taking away 1,000, 3,000 still. These planes are heavily armored. Flying tanks, I call them. We're going to take damage from the cruiser as well as the bombs. Oh, those bombs just do way too much damage. He just got a nice kill. And we killed the Guten Lao as well. It's okay. It's just a flesh room. We get that achievement. Yep. We shoot 21 planes. Top two in the team just for sheer aircraft blowing up alone. 61,000 damage in 13 minutes. So about expected. You know, every seven minutes we're getting about, you know, 40k-ish damage. Okay, let's try the Immelman right here. See if the Immelman actually gives us a little bit more. Okay, right off the bat... Immelman's planes, these are the skip bombers that just literally just drop their entire ordnance right off from long range. There's nothing you can do about it. There's a thousand damage right off the bat. Here we go. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, we got the DFA on. Let's see if we can knock out all the planes before he gets his drop. Nope, he did drop them and he flies right over us. And he takes a hit. Um, and we lose a lot of HP on that one. Man, those things, those things are scary. Emmelman is a scary thing, even against the Larna, one of the top AA builds is, uh, out there. All right, let's see if we can Attention. see what Reporting if he does another position. strike on us. Reporting the target position. All right, here comes some more skip bombers right here. Yep, skip bombers are coming in. Let's see. Oh, nope, he's skipping. Uh, he's going out to the right. Yep, I don't think he comes at us again. Come on, AA bombers, come at us. Or, I'm sorry, skip bombers. Okay, it doesn't look like the skip bombers are coming, but I think I just try to go in and cap and maybe just hold this uh, area just to see if he actually comes back through. Okay, here he comes. He's coming back. Here we go. All right, A is active. And we're shoot, see when we eliminate any planes at all. Man, he gets a bomb runoff. Man. And he's up to four, so he got he traveled two kilometers in our range, and we were we weren't able to do okay. We at least get one, so we're up to twenty five thousand damage right now in the first five minutes of the game. Does he come back for more? Let's see. Okay, here's the uh, the gearing right there. So he just launched torpedoes just right at him, just to keep scaring him away. And this is pretty much all we could do right here is just uh, kind of hang out. I don't know why I didn't skip this part in the video. Okay, so yeah, I skipped that part. It wasn't much happening going on, but uh, let's see if we can take on the Immelman. The actual Immelman finally find the carrier. Uh, I think we are still winning, so let's see if we can... It was just a good game. I mean, we, we were just doing a really good job of holding off, and the other two caps are getting lost right now, so we're just doing a good job as much as we could. Just the, me, the, the carrier, and the cruise, or destroyer. So uh, just trying to blow up as much as we can on the Immelman. Just pesky the carrier, just driving around with great secondaries, by the way. Yeah, the German uh, carriers have the best secondaries, I think, for their class. Pretty funny. The moment launches plane, we're just blasting his plane as soon as they're taking off. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Yeah, look at all those planes returning. Yeah, everybody's dying. Everybody's parachuting out. Oh, my gosh, we're trying to land, and we're getting shot down right off the bat. <laughs> Pretty hilarious. I like that. See if we can kill this. Oh, moment we launched some torpedoes, I believe, Adam. Rep, there go the torpedoes. Can we kill this guy before he takes a uh, shot on us? Yeah, we get a carrier kill. Yeah, a carrier kill. And we're shooting down planes. And he gets his bomb run off, I believe. And oof, I think we almost missed it right there. Yeah, so we got 37,000 uh, planes. Uh, th sorry, 37 planes knocked down. 89,000 airplanes damaged. And we're getting that AA expert because we did a crap ton of AA uh, shooting ability right there. Let's see. Uh, doing a torp run on the ba Beige. Baj? Can't pronounce that. See, so we get a nice. Uh, I think we get flood damage here. Yeah, we get some flood. And I think I was showing this off because yeah, I was just showing the power of what the Delarna can do. Yep. Now he's flooding, so we just open up and start shooting at him. 
Yep, if he's flooding and you can see the lights are flashing for his damage con being off. So if the damage con is not available anymore, we can start another fire. Alright, so yeah, in, in order to finish the game, we're just basically shooting at a GK at this point. Yeah, let's see if we're gonna kill him. I and mean, we have enough HP, this will work. Yep, then we're gonna start a lot of fires on this guy. Yeah, Delarn has got some great guns. I mean, it's good angles, good guns. I mean, I like it. Starts fires just like a Holland does. Pretty interesting. I mean, simple guns, European guns are just basic, but they do start a lot of fires. We get the kill right there. And we actually bring this game back. 97 1. We're about to win. So, yeah, we're just having fun shooting around against our counterpart, the Holland, right there. Another great uh, DD uh, AA player. And you can see my other video about that. Uh, I did just I just recently just did the AA build on the, the Holland. Really good. Win that game. Uh, shoot 37 planes. I was just showing that off for the. Uh, you know, the basics of uh, what the AA platform can do. Uh, overall, what do I think about this uh, this build? Um, Delarna, very, very powerful. Uh, I would say probably my one of my favorites. If, if it wasn't for the cost of it, uh, I would choose it more than the Holland, but I think the Delarna is probably the top rank for for what it does and for what it can do and the ability. I mean, I would say Ragnar is cool, but 89,000 damage. I mean, way more DPM on this. Um, just based on what it can do and awesome. Look, we're losing money there. 2000 credits. It, it costs a lot. I spent 360,000 just playing the thing and ammunition resupply, ammunition resupply. I don't understand that. So 422,000 just for playing the ship. You're already in the, the hole unless you do something about it and win the game, you know? So here's the build, you know, mod six. We already put that as we, we told you about commander build, just the basic, uh, you know, fearless brawler and torpedo reload. I mean, that's, that's all you can do. And it does a great job just for that basic build. So again, what do I think about it, Delarna? Absolutely. It's probably, in my personal opinion, the best uh, right now because it's just a souped-up Holland. The Holland was already good. Now Delarna is even better with the 6 plus 3 flat cloud, and you can get the defensive AA ability on it to give you two more. I think it's the best right now for what it does. It's got a great HP um, you know, pull. It's got the heals, the DFA, and, and it's basically an all-around destroyer for what it's supposed to do. Gunboating, torping, AA, good concealment. I think the Delarna has to probably be the top best right now in the meta of today. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Like, subscribe, open, low. Appreciate all the support. 2,000 subs giving it away a free premium DD giveaway. I look forward to that event as always. And I hope you guys get some value out of this. As always, leave a comment below. Like, subscribe, and uh, just help us grow the channel and the community. You guys stay safe. Make sure you say hi when you, uh, we see you out there in any kind of mode or battle mode. And as always, you guys be safe, and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers.